Ahmed Zahran. I'm from uh, Calm Solar in Egypt. What is Calm Solar doing? We do off-grid solar solutions. We uh, compete mainly with uh, diesel. We try to provide off-grid solutions that are commercially viable. We're not selling solar because it's green. We're not selling solar because it's good to have. We're selling solar because it's economic, it's cheaper, it's better to have. Cool. What are you working on today? Well, it's uh, really something that is not related to what I uh, originally, to, to my background. We're working on city farming, but we managed to get up with really some nice ideas. And that's the whole advantage of getting people from different backgrounds uh, to work on something that they're not familiar with because you get to have uh, new perspectives on things and you get to see uh, solutions that could come up from uh, disciplines that are far away from what, what the main people are working on in, in that field. So how have you guys gone about that process from the beginning? Can you describe what it's been like over the past three days? Yes. It was kind of uh, uh, planned randomness so we were just talking to each other trying to interact together and then I think we were lucky enough that we were paired in a way that enabled us to think in uh, um, about really different things about how to handle city farming for example so uh, with my partners we managed them coming up with, uh, with some ideas that we then talked to the MIT students about and they uh, they related to it so they started developing something that would help us and then we managed to developing a concept and then some of the team took what we've done and they were developing a third thing to add to it so we managed them coming up with something that involved the work of many people actually I think that's the main advantage. And what's the final project? Oh it's called uh, Pixel Farming and the whole idea is that um, uh, we were trying to find a, the ultimate solution for bringing farming into the city so we were thinking what do you do if you want to have city greenery for example your building unit is the tree you just plant trees everywhere what do you do when you want uh, city lighting you have the light posts that you just put everywhere so we were thinking that why can't we have city farming in the same way that there is this thing that we're trying to find out what it is that you just if you want the city farm you just put it everywhere and that's it you have a city farm so we looked at the specs of what is the tree and what is the light post what do they have in common how do they work and we were trying to develop something that has the same kind of specs that would be the building block of having a city farm and then the idea came then maybe we should have a software that tells you exactly where to put them so we started looking at the specs of what uh, each uh, node or each pixel of the city farm would be able to produce and then we have a really cool software that you just uh, put the houses on the map and it tells you those are the places where you have uh, the pixels and then the guys working on the sensors they were like uh, wow that actually could be the thing that we use as well to put sensors everywhere to understand what's happening around the city so it became this thing that gathers all those things together and will spread around the city. What do you think you'll take back with you when you go back to continue working at Calm Solar? Is there any element of this that's the most exciting or useful element? We're actually working on a sensors network of our own back in Egypt that is more related to energy production, solar productivity and, and so on. And many of the things that I've worked on here I think I'm going to take back uh, with me the ideas. I'm, I'm an economist by, by training, I'm not, a, uh, I'm not an engineer. Uh, but sometimes economists need to, to talk to engineers so that you can come up with, uh, with solutions that really matter and that would make things more economic. So those are some of the things that I'll take to back to my team. And then uh, the way that we collaborated over here was really uh, interesting. It helped us really come up with really cool ideas. And th the fact that you have like three or four hours to achieve something, this is something that I, I'm thinking of applying back at the company that we... Um, uh, you see that we take, for example, you put the technical team with the economists in one place and you give them something like two days to solve a certain problem or to come up with a new idea. This could be a new way of starting, uh, of looking for new ideas, coming up with new products and, and so on. I, I never tried that before. This is the first time that I try it. A kind of a, a, a fusion between a, what a hackathon would be and what business development would be. Awesome. Thanks, Ahmed. Perfect. Thank you, Neil.